How is that not just the biggest bop in all the world? Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another wonderful edition of Beef Raw. This particular occasion, we are going to talk about WrestleMania, baby. Am I pointing the right way? I am. WrestleMania, baby. Um, showcase of the Immortals. Now, uh, I don't want to step on my compatriot's toes. I don't want to uh, get real deep into a lot of stuff. So, Because I know that we're going to be talking about a lot of things in the podcast, which will be recorded tomorrow night. And also, next week's podcast, uh, which will do our picks, in which there will be many picks to do for the True True Chooserweight Championship. So, um, and hopefully I didn't get a copyright strike for that. If I did, oh freaking well, because again, it is a bop, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's a freaking cat bop, if there ever was a cat bop. I I'm sorry, I I'm... I am a WrestleMania mark. I like the WrestleMania season, and I like the classic WrestleMania themes. So yeah, man, that's my jam. So, uh, WrestleMania is right around the corner, in that it is a week and a half away, barely uh, a week and a half away. Uh, it just kind of jumped right on us, uh, that's what she said, and... Um, I, you know, we talked a lot in, um, the episode to be posted today, tomorrow, I don't know. We talked a lot about, um, the, 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 the disappointing setup for WrestleMania so far this year. And I don't want to beligar that. I, you know, and, and, and I'll be real, like, yeah. Looking at the WWE WrestleMania Night 1, Night 2 card, it doesn't jump out as one of the best ever. Which is a bummer, because I think that they have the star power to do so. But, what I'm super excited about, what I think that each and every one of you, who is a wrestling fan, should be excited about, is the fact that... um. Yeah, just the fact that WrestleMania Weekend exists. Um, hold on, I forgot to share this to my own page. Ooh, there I am, talking, talking to everybody, sorry. Um, yeah, so WrestleMania Weekend is a thing. So WWE used to do fan access through the whole week. Uh, they basically monopolized, and I don't want to use that word too harshly, given the lawsuit and such, but um, WWE basically monopolized... WrestleMania week, making it all about them. Okay, awesome. You went, you met legends. You, uh, you know, you 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 spent money to do lunches. Um, you got to call matches with Michael Cole. You got to see some of the physical Hall of Fame stuff. You know, it it it, it was a cool gimmick, right? Everybody dug it, and then they did away with it. Um, obviously, COVID had quite a bit to do with that, but even pre-COVID, I don't know that there were, you know, a lot of, a, a lot of, uh, things in place for, uh, WrestleMania fan access, so they basically had this awesome idea that they capitalized on the whole week, and then they, uh, they stopped, right? I'm, I'm shocked, and I'm sure that all of you who follow Vince McMahon's product very closely are very shocked, too. But, that notwithstanding, um, with access gone, uh, stripped down to parts, whatever you want to say, um, basically they left a void. And in that void has come some really amazing shows. Uh, and I'm not talking about WWE shows, I'm talking about The Fringe, um, Basically, everybody else in the wrestling world that is not WWE or AEW is putting on a show 
in Dallas on WrestleMania weekend. And they're going to do the same thing for Los Angeles next year. It's it's only smart. So I'm here to tell you what to watch next weekend. Obviously, WrestleMania, because it's the granddaddy of them all. Uh, and, 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 and if you're a wrestling fan uh, like me, then I know that you'll probably be watching. Um, whether you're watching, waiting for a spectacular failure, whether you're watching in hopes that maybe something good will happen, and, and, and I'm going to be real, there are some chances for a lot of good to happen next weekend. Uh, whether you're watching just because you got nothing else to do the first weekend of April. Regardless, you'll probably be watching WrestleMania. And I will be too. Uh, I'll be sitting here in the Fortress of Beefitude. I'll probably be wearing my sweatpants. I'll have maybe a bag of pork rinds. Uh, maybe some barbecue. You know, it's, 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 it's WrestleMania. WrestleMania weekend is an event for me. Okay. Um, it, it, it is something that I absolutely wait for. And it's been a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different this year, not seeing uh, some of my buds. But you know what? Like, I'm still going to enjoy it. So here are some other things that are taking place on WrestleMania weekend. One of my favorite things that has started in the last maybe four years or so is Josh Barnett's Bloodsport. So Josh Barnett is a former um, MMA fighter, former professional wrestler, and he um, he looks it, man. Uh, he, he, he put together this card of basically worked shoot matches. And I know that those two words, you know, don't intermingle uh, homogeneously, but they, it, it's, it's fun to watch. Um, basically, like, MMA matches that are predetermined. And uh, they go, man. They, they go. Uh, John Moxley's been involved. Uh, he will be as well again this year. Um, Minoru Suzuki's been involved. Lance Archer's been involved. Um, um, oh, hell. Tyson Kidd, I want to say. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Der uh, uh, David Boy's kid, uh, D.H. Smith, uh, was, was involved. Um, the one, uh, Vaude Villain, um, Simon Grimm, he was involved. So, you know, this, this is not something that, um, this is not something that is, is, is small names. You know, these are, these are guys who have seen the limelight. Uh, so this year, <clears throat> the main event, <coughs> excuse me, is, uh, John Moxley versus Biff Busick, who fans will know as Oni Lorcan. Uh, that'll be a great match. Uh, Minoru Suzuki is facing Chris Dickinson. Josh Barnett himself is uh, is facing Jonah. I'm not sure who Jonah. Oh, uh, Jonah is um, oh hell, um, Ozilla from NXT, um, who they let go. Um, so that'll be a great match. Um. Who else is going to be there? Speedball Bailey's going to be there. Uh, Timothy Th Timothy Thatcher, easy for me to say, is going to be there. You know he's going to tear someone's head off. And uh, Marina Shafir, among other matches. So now keep in mind that like these little shows don't have the production value of AEW of WWE. They're not going to be like the best ever to watch. Excuse my camera. Ooh, that was a rough one. Sorry about that. Uh, so they're not going to be the best like to see happen, but they're going to be fun. And, and, and sometimes with wrestling, that's all you can ask for is fun. Uh, you, you, you want to be entertained. So I think that this is absolutely going to be entertaining. Triple A. Uh, so that happens next Thursday at, uh, 4 PM Eastern time, 3 PM local. Uh, so, um, I believe it's on f fight. Uh, I think Fight's doing, like, a bundle where you can get, like... It's it's, it's called The Collective, where um, you'll be able to watch on Fight uh, basically all the shows if you sign up for The Collective Bundle. Triple A will be there, um, featuring... Uh, the one match that jumped out to me was the Laredo Kid versus Bandito versus Flamita. 
um, that you know those 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 are big names if you're if you're in a triple A. Um, I'm sure that the uh, the Lucha Boys uh, would, would would back me up on that. Um, also, and that's also next Thursday. Uh, you have control your narrative. So that's skippable. Uh, they don't even have a card announced yet because they're flying by the seat of their pants. I don't want to spend more time talk down talking control your narrative because I want to be excited about it, but. I'm 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 just not. Uh, Joe Daniela's Spring Break is another WrestleMania weekend staple, where he brings in some of the top um, indie guys to work under his banner. Apparently, the GCW World Title is being defended. John Mox is going to defend it there, as well the Ultra Violent Championship and the GCW Tag Team Championship. So apparently, Janela's working closely with GCW there. Uh, that'll be next Thursday evening. Uh, and probably one of the biggest ones that I'm excited about is going to be the Mark Hitchcock Memorial Show. So uh, they started this, I don't know how long ago, but um, basically this is for Mark Hitchcock, uh, who was a friend to pro wrestling. He, uh, and, and that, I think I think this is like a, a fundraiser as well. I could be wrong about that. But there have been some great fucking matches every single year here. Uh, I think last, no, it would have been three years ago, um, man, COVID times really messed with my mind, um, I think three years ago had, um, Pentagon versus Ray Phoenix, which was, you know, outstanding, as you would expect it to be, uh, this, this year has, uh, Oni Lorcan, well, Biff Busick, aka Oni Lorcan versus, Mimo versus Minoru Suzuki, which is, you know, fucking worth the price of admission alone, you got the Briscoes versus Homicide and Low Key, which again, worth the price of admission alone. Uh, Bandito versus Speedball Mike Bailey. Uh, Mia Yim versus Athena, aka Ember Moon. And something I am salivating over is uh, Timothy Thatcher versus Tomohiro Ishii. Um, those of you who know New Japan Pro Wrestling know Ishii's name. He's, he's, he's a bona fide Japanese legend, the Stone Pitbull. He's a tough son of a bitch. Um, and, and obviously Timothy Thatcher is Timothy Thatcher. So I, you know, this is going to be an incredible match. That might be the match of the weekend if you're looking for brutality wise. That's going to be a super exciting, um, match to see. Uh, that'll be happening next Friday, or next, I'm sorry, next Thursday at 10 p.m. Uh, again, on Fight. Um, that's part of the Fight Fest bundle. I don't know if that's different than the Collective bundle. I don't know. You can check out these different services. You can Google these shows as well and get more information on how to purchase them or see them otherwise. Um, GCW is putting on a show at 11.59 Texas time, for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know enough about GC... Well, I know enough about GCW to be dangerous, so I'm not even going to really go into them. Uh, and then on Friday, <laughs> the fun continues. Um, Zicky Dice is Trouble in Paradise. Lindsay Dorado is going to be there. Mike, uh, Speedball Mike Bailey is going to be there as well. And you're going to see a lot of the same names at a lot of these shows because they're making money from every single promotion that they're working for. Um, MLW has a couple shows the weekend, that weekend. They're doing Aztec Underground, which is like MLW's kind of salute to Lucha Underground, where they're having L.A. Park, formerly known as La Parka, versus Jacob Fatu. If you haven't seen Jacob Fatu wrestle, he's great to watch. He's part of the NOI family. And, uh, I think he's the next big dude that's going to come to WWE and just wreck shop. Or come to WWE, show up in NXT, look awesome, and then go to the main roster and get squashed. You pick. Um, uh, Abysmo, uh, Mini Abysmo Negro is going to be there. El Dragon, so sounds A Aerostar. Um, Matt Cross versus Octagon Jr. Uh, Bandito versus Flamita, which again are two of the ones that are involved in the... Um, the uh, the triple a match the night the day prior so again great talent is going to be on display on that that is next friday at 2 p.m local 3 p.m eastern standard uh there's a show called for the culture 
that has two cold Scorpio in it for whatever reason. And the Knockouts World titles can be defended there with Tasha Steeles versus Big Swole, Rich Swan versus JTG. So I mean, some 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 decent names uh, on that one as well. Um, War Horses are going to be all over the damn weekend. So um, if you're a big War Horse guy, if you're a big War Horse Mark, which I don't blame you, you know he's. He's kind of similar to Dan Housen in that he has his, like, little pockets of fans, which is cool. I like War Horse. He's pretty cool. Uh, 5 p.m. Uh, sorry, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time next Friday is going to be in uh, New Japan Lone Star Shootout with uh, Chris Dickinson versus Tomohiro Ishii, Jay White versus uh, Mike Speedball Mike Bailey, Juice Robinson, David Finley, um... Kevin Knight and Daniel Garcia versus Mascara Dorada, which I believe is, um, 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 shit. Who was the guy, the really good guy that they brought and botched everything? Um, Sin Cara. I, I, believe, I believe that Mascara Dorada is Sin Cara. Uh, Clark Connors, Carl Federicks, and, uh, Yuya Yumara. Um, I think that those, those are NJPW strong guys. Uh, Ren Dorito, again, uh, a young lion. Versus Rocky Romero and uh, another great fucking matchup, Killer Cross versus Minoru Suzuki. Um, shit, man, that that's again worth the price of admission alone. Again, that's available on Fight per, per the uh, on the Fight Fest 2022. Um, uh, there was another one I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, obviously Super Card of Honor. Uh, Tony Khan recently purchased. Uh, Ring of Honor, as we all know, and uh, he has gone moving forward with Supercard of Honor. So far, they've they they've booked Bandito versus Jonathan Gresham for the Royal World Championship, which will be amazing. Um, the Briscoes are depending against FTR, which again is amazing. Uh, Alex Zane versus Swerve the Realist, which again, I I love Swerve. So, um, and that's only three, and I'm sure they're gonna have more matches added, you know, closer to the time. Uh, hell, they may even announce some tonight on AEW. I don't know. Guess we'll see. Uh, that's at 8 p.m. next Friday. Um, SmackDown, obviously. SmackDown, boo. Um, and the best part is, like, they're not, like, these places aren't, like, booking around WrestleMania, aren't booking around, I mean, they're booking around WrestleMania because they kind of have to. But they're book but they're but they're not really booking around SmackDown and NXT and stuff. Like they're just continuing on, knowing that they're gonna get people that wanna see this style of wrestling, not necessarily the main roster WWE stuff. Moving right along, uh, next Friday night at ten PM. Impact Wrestling multiverse of matches. Uh so there's actually some good and I I've been down on Impact before. Uh they have failed to deliver uh, again, I think it was three or four years ago that they really had a shot at making a good show, and they and they failed to deliver on WrestleMania weekend. We'll see what happens this year. Um, we have the Good Brothers versus the Briscoes, which should be amazing. Eddie Edwards versus Tomohiro Ishii. Uh, that's the third time I've mentioned Ishii's name, and I'm excited for every single match he's in. Uh, Chris Sabin, who's one of my uh, old school faves, versus Jay White, one of my new school faves. Um... The, uh, Deanna Perrazzo is going to be, um, <coughs> excuse me, defending the, uh, the, the, the championship there. There's also going to be an Ultimate X match. Ultimate X is always great. Scheduled to appear, Muse, Moose, Mickey James, Matt Cardona, Chelsea Green, Eric Young, Jordan Grace, Rhino, Rich Swan, etc. Um, so that'll be a really great, uh, one. Um, on Saturday, prior to WrestleMania, Joey Janela's Breakfast, uh, I'm sorry, Joe, Joe Janela's Spring Break Part 6, nope, Spring Break 6 Part 2 is happening on Saturday morning at noon um, with uh, Chris Dickinson versus Matt Cardona, Manoa Suzuki versus Effie, Speedball, Speedball Mike Bailey versus PCO, uh, Biff Busick versus Tony Deppin, um, there's a Battle Royal there including Maven, Jimmy Wang Yang, etc. Um, and then obviously uh, NXT is uh next i believe next saturday um so that'll be a decent card as well um wrestlecon is going to be on uh saturday i believe as well so there is going to be uh quite a lot of good stuff happening i'm just scrolling through here to see if there's any else anything else worth mentioning 
Um, but yeah, man. So like, if 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 you're like my crewmates and you're not that hyped for WrestleMania, I understand that, and that's fair. WWE has done very little to try and hype this year's WrestleMania outside of bringing in Logan Paul and fucking Johnny Knoxville and fucking bringing back, you know, digging up the bones of Steve Austin and having him come back out again. You know, WWE notwithstanding, this ought to be a pretty great weekend of shows. Uh, and, uh, you know, if if you catch even one or two of those programs that I've mentioned, I, I think I think you'll be happy, you know? Um, Supercard of Honor, you know, I, 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 I would say would probably be the show of the weekend. Don't sleep on the, um, don't sleep on New Japan, Lone Star, the showdown with, uh, with Cross and Suzuki. Uh, again, Barnett's Bloodsport, if you're into that, ought to be really good. And, uh, I think the one I'm probably looking forward to the most is the Hitchcock show, the, uh, the Mark Hitchcock Memorial Show uh, on uh, on Thursday night. So yeah, there there there's gonna be lots and lots and lots of good stuff. So if you're a fan of wrestling, get excited for next weekend. Um, you know, take WrestleMania with a grain of salt. Enjoy it for what it is. Um, uh oh, uh, Mid Card Maniac is here. What's up, Pat? Cody versus Seth. Who you got? I don't know what you're talking about, Pat. Seth Rollins isn't booked for WrestleMania, and Cody Rhodes isn't a WWE contracted talent. I don't know what you're talking about. Because if WWE had Cody Rhodes under contract, clearly they would be bringing him out on, Wrestle on, on Raw or SmackDown every week to plug such a large match. Why, why would they not, uh, you know, bring out a potential huge signing from AEW to get ratings up for WrestleMania. So clearly he's not signed. Clearly Seth Rollins has no opponent for WrestleMania, even though he is one of the guys in WWE, one of the pillars in WWE. That's who I got, Pat. And I'm going to talk, we're, we're, we're going to talk more about this tomorrow night. When, when, when we, when we do the show tomorrow night, which you guys will hear next week on WrestleMania week, um, you, you'll, you'll hear me talk more about this, because it drives me fucking bananas that they got a guy like Cody Rhodes, and they're gonna save him for either the week before WrestleMania, which, by the way, is being filmed in Pittsburgh, or they're gonna save him for a WrestleMania date re-debut, which, you know, it worked for the Hardy Boys, sure, but man, man! Like, can 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 we get John Taffer on uh, on on WWE? Can John Taffer save WWE? Uh, you know there, there there should be a show called WrestleMania Rescue where someone tries to save this card because I think I think I think that there is money to be made at the show. I think that there are some decent things that are going to happen. But man, have they just blown the marketing of it. And maybe they don't give a fuck. You know, Peacock paid them for their money. If Peacock paid them their money for the show. What do they care? Right? You know, it's just not their problem anymore. It's Peacock's deal to fucking plug it. So, you know, one, one, one way or the other. Um, so, to answer your question, Pat, who do I have? Uh, I, I, I think that Seth will probably put over the guy again. Uh, I mean, cause you don't bring back Cody Rhodes and redebut him either the week before or on WrestleMania to, to lose. So I think that Cody will beat Seth. Um, fortunate, unfortunate, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, last year when Seth put over Cesaro, I was like, oh, okay. Cesaro's at the big time, and now, now he's gone. So, <clears throat> you know, may, maybe Seth Rollins putting you over does nothing for you. But, um, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, 
Uh, bottom line is, again, even if you're not stoked about the show shows, the showcase of the Immortals, you know, be excited for all the other shows going on. You know, support these guys on Fight. If you're local to Dallas, go out and see them. Um, you know, these guys, these are the ones who are out there busting their ass, you know, doing everything they can. These are the guys, they're, they're, they're going to be working, you know, Ishii, like I said, he's working three shows the weekend. Speedball, Mike Bailey's over all, all over the place. Killer Cross is in a couple. So, you know, he, you know, the, the, the Suzuki, these guys are, are, you know, the ones that deserve to be paid. So get out there, support them, go watch these, these things and enjoy them, man. At the end of the day. We watch wrestling for entertainment. We want to be sports entertained. So just sit back, shut up, and watch the product. Enjoy it. Don't enjoy it. Whatever. You know, may, may, maybe you just watched the product a bitch. I don't know. But you know what? Go out there. Be sports entertained. Enjoy it. And for God's sakes... Keep listening to our show. Because whether you love WrestleMania or whether you hate it, whether you watch the other shows or whether you don't, we'll still be here talking all about them. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed this little, uh, the beef buffet, if you will, of, uh, of what to uh, what to look forward to next weekend. Uh, I am, of course, Beef the Legend. Uh, check out our uh, the, the show being posted here, I think, today or tomorrow, as well as our shows being posted next week. And, um, yeah, uh, choose your weight. Uh, pick them as next, next Thursday. We, we, got, we got the Mega Picks with uh, two WrestleMania shows and NXT. So uh, it's, 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 it's anyone's, it's anyone's um, ball game. So enjoy, uh, keep listening, subscribe, like, uh, as my buddy on Twitch says, uh, hit any button that's not a down vote. You can't go wrong. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you later for the other three members of the Pittsburgh Powder Podcast and our affiliates, sponsors, etc. This is Beat the Legend saying rock out and enjoy WrestleMania. <laughs>